Okay, so got those fittings in there. Okay, and what I've done is I've just set the radiator in place. Okay, I just wanted to make sure it's going to clear those fittings. And it looks like it's going to be good. The other thing is I, I wanted to put the radiator in so I could measure an exact length for two hoses. I want the one for this hose here, the inlet to the radiator. And I want to measure the other one, which is... The inlet to the engine right down there okay you see that see that right there okay so I got to measure that and I've got some new hose for that that's gonna be a tough one to put on because this one can't the radiator can't go any further forward because of this fitting here yeah the other thing I I realized when I went to put this in is you pretty much what you've got to do there's no clearance here so what you gotta do is you got to put the engine fan sort of in this space as you lower the radiator down. You can't get it in or out once the radiator's in place. So what you have to do is you have to put the, put the fan in with the radiator, slide it down, and then put your bolts in later. Okay, I had the radiator in there. Okay, now I'm lifting the radiator up a little bit. I'll try and get that bottom hose on and show you the difficulty. So what I'm doing here is I've lifted up the rad as high as I can get it. And that lower hose, I cut it, It's I measured it as three inches, uh, bottomed out on both sides. So I cut it about two and three quarter inches long. And I'm just getting it fit on the engine side. Then I'm going to see if I can get it around... Uh, so and get it around the part on the rad where it needs to go as I sit it down in. So it's a little bit of a wrestling match. Okay, I'm getting it. So how I've done that is I've I put it on the engine side first, and then just by moving the rad as much as I could get it out, what I did was I pushed on this new hose and I got the other side, the outside, or I guess the inside of that hose over the lip on that uh, spud sticking out of the rad and I'm just about to get it. So I'm just gonna bring the radiator down a little bit and get it inside of that end of the hose, but man, it's a tight squeeze. Okay, so took me a few minutes of struggling with that, but I got it on. So I got a, a length of hose there. It's, I think it's two and three quarter inches, uh, or maybe closer to three inches. But uh, I wanted as much on each a surface where I got to put a hose clamp as I could and, that, and that's how I got it in there so uh, it can be done but wow that's a that's a tough spot so I got that on there I don't have my clamps on there yet but I'm gonna get the rad all in position and then I'm gonna come around later and put the clamps on okay let's just take a look up top here now as I was doing that as I say now the the fans got to be in there somewhere so I was making sure as I'm doing this that the, the rad, uh, the fan's not digging into the rad anywhere. So uh, I'm going to bring that back up on to uh, the pulley. I'm going to put the pulley back on here in a second and sit the fan in place before I sit the rad right back down where it has to bolt in. Okay, so with that hose on over there, I've moved the, the fan blade back so it's loose down in here. Okay. It's a bit of a struggle. So what I've got done is I've got the, the bolt pattern set up on this uh, shaft from the water pump, set up with, the, let me see, one bolt there, one bolt there. So, so horizontal across the top. So that's how, because I won't be able to see where they are to line it up. And let's just see if this pulley will go down in there. Let's see here. It just barely goes in there. So I'm going to do the same with the bolt pattern, two across the top. Okay. And then... Okay, so I'm just going to try a bolt in the hole there. If I can get it. Make sure everything's lined up. I've got to put three things together to make this work. Yeah, so there's... It's the proverbial cat in a box, is what this is. 
This is a cat in a box. I'm telling you that. Okay, let me just see. Okay. Get that bolt in there. Just want to make sure I got the hole lined up first. Okay, that's the that's the threaded hole there. Okay, that'll work, see? I got that started. Okay, so I'm not going to move that. Now I'm just going to try and sit the fan in place and line up the holes on the fan. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Like I say, you, you may learn a few new words doing this. I think I learned a few. A few new swear words. Okay, I just got that set in place and I got I did get a bolt started. Okay? So I got the lock washer on it this time too, so that's the final install on that bolt, hopefully. So once I get one in, I'll be able to get the other three. So that's started. Wow, it's a tight squeeze. And you know what? The sun was out here a few minutes ago. So I figured I'd come out and uncover this and start this job. But look at it, it's raining. So I'm going to pack this up for now and I'm going to get on the phone and call the weather service and put in a complaint about this weather. Eh? Look at it. You can't see it, but it's, it's starting to rain pretty good here. So I'm going to cover this up for now and get back to you in a little bit. Okay, so I've got the radiator in place. I've got that new pulley on here. I've got the fan bolted on. I've got the radiator bolted down. There's two bolts at the bottom there. I got that those in, okay? And I got my bottom hose hooked up. Now, uh, the other day I tested my thermostat. I know the thermostat's good. I've, I've made a gasket for here, and I've got the housing, and I cut a hose uh, for here from here to here. It's uh, five inches of two-inch hose, radiator hose. Okay, uh, so I got that ready. So um, just about ready to fill it up with coolant. The first thing I want to do before I do that, though, is I want to make sure that uh, the block is rinsed out. So there's, uh, there's two ways to do that. Now, this radiator has been out and to the shop, so I know there's no coolant in it. But uh, if you were starting from scratch and you just wanted to drain your system and flush it, uh, there's a drain cock on the front of the radiator right here, okay? And that'll drain down through and put a pan under it. Don't just drain coolant on the ground we can't do that anymore you know it's uh, it poisons stuff animals lick it up uh, it kills them so uh, you know recycle your antifreeze uh, lots of places will take it now and uh, the other thing is there is a, a dedicated drain port on the block and and there's the uh, there's the drain valve and the the port is right here right here okay the so that's on the left side of the engine, just behind the fuel filters, up in here, okay? So that's that where that drain port goes. You, you don't have to take it, you don't have to take it out like I did, but I wanted to take it out and uh, I wanted to operate it in the vise, clean it up, and put some new Teflon tape on it. So basically I got that to go in. Okay, so I'm just gonna run a little water in here from the hose. Okay, so I've, I've caught the coolant and I rinsed it out and now I'm just running clean water through the block. You see it coming out of that port I've taken out there. All right, so it's pretty well flushed. And it's the same thing for the radiator. Once you've caught all your coolant and you've rinsed it through and you've disposed of your coolant safely, you could just stick a garden hose down in here and uh, continue the flush. Okay, and I've got the, the drain on the radiator opened here. So that's looking like it's running through nice and clean. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn off the hose and let it drain through and then we'll uh, close the two drain ports, one on the radiator, one on the block, and we'll fill it back up with coolant and water. Okay, let's get that started in there. Okay, so I've got that screwed back in the block and it looks like there's a little more water wants to come out there. Okay, and once that's done, I'll just close this off. I'm just going to close it off, make it snug, and there we go. Okay, and the same thing on the front of the radiator. It's all drained out. Just turn that 90 degrees. Like that. Turn it off. Okay, now we're ready to fill it up. 
Okay, here's the stuff we need for the coolant change. We've got our coolant concentrate. We've got demineralized water. We've got a funnel. We've got thermostat housing. I made a new thermostat gasket. We've got our bolts ready. I put a little grease on the threads. We've got our thermostat. Uh, a little bit of emery cloth. I cleaned the bottom of this surface. And I cleaned on the engine with it. And I got a new length of hose to go from the thermostat housing to the radiator. And I'll show you how I measured that. Okay, so this is where your thermostat goes down in here as your housing, okay? And now what I did was I measured for a new hose, I measured five inches, okay? So basically it would be bottomed out on there and it would just come to the top of this uh, raised part of the inlet for the radiator, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna fill it up with coolant first. Okay, so I got a little longer funnel here. I found that shorter funnel wasn't going to work. So what I like to do on any engine is I like to fill it through the thermostat opening right up flush to where the top of the thermostat is before I put the thermostat in. That way I know that the engine's kind of burped and there's no air pocket up in behind the thermostat. This engine takes 4.2 gallons of mixed coolant, 50-50 mix. So this is uh, one gallon here of concentrate. So I'm gonna put that in and I'm gonna follow that up with a gallon of distilled water. And I'm gonna go on that process until we got it full. Okay, here's the demineralized water. So that's a gallon of each so far. Okay, now that we've got the coolant mix up to the top of the thermostat housing, I'm gonna put the thermostat in, bolt the housing down, hook up the hose, and we'll do the remainder of the fill through the top of the radiator. And before I put the housing on and the thermostat in, I'm gonna take the hose that I've cut and I'm gonna put it up here. I'm gonna put the new hose on, I'm gonna put it on the radiator fitting. I'm gonna pull it all the way up like that. And then I'm gonna put the, the thermostat housing in and then I'll pull it back down. Okay, so I got new gasket and I got the housing. I got the thermostat in place. So we we'll just put our bolts in here. Okay, we'll tighten this down. There, nice and snug. Both sides. Okay. And now we're just going to slide the hose down over the housing. Alright, I got that right down to the bottom. And slide this one down. There. Very good. Okay, so we're going to continue with our 50-50 mix into the rad. That's pretty close to 50-50. I'll just carry on until I get to the top of the rad. And there it is, full to the top with a 50-50 mixture of antifreeze and distilled water. So we'll put the lid on. And we got new hoses top and bottom. We've had the rad at the shop. They pressure tested it, fixed a couple of small leaks in it. And so we got that installed, ready for the eventual firing of this tractor. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Share, like, and subscribe. And we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.